GG's, y'all. Alright. Um, I guess I could have pulled into the Discord there. Fugu Jam. In case anyone was wondering where I was looking. You have to remember that anyone who is the end of Kaizo is so gross, but I don't know if I'm not just some of the people. Pumpkin Hill is something nice. Very fair, very fair. I have been like really hard on myself about Kaizo lately. Motor skills, too? Uh, okay. Not willingly. <clears throat> I've been trying not to be. But you know what I mean? Like, hey, you just get in your Liz. Murder. <sighs> Oops, I started reading that. The only thing that could eat Jurassic Park item I have. I have lifted whole ass humans and thrown them! I mean, we got some like fiery quotes coming up now. I can't find the clip, but it was something like skating my way around town. Girl bites her lips and I bust my hip and it's not fine. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Sio made me think of that. Um, and I went very bright red. So, you know. Um, Ari, thank you so much for the host. And thank Kay. you so far. Thank you so Whew. Tomorrow. Tough segment. I feel like I made it a little bit harder on myself by not reading the end right, um, but overall a pretty cool segment. I kind of wish that there were less death, like just walls of death blocks, I guess, but that's just kind of like an aesthetic thing, honestly. Um, overall a pretty fun segment though. Thank you for the Okay, so when these things are on the rope, they're like much farther away than it actually feels like they are. Like, I can bounce off of both of them, but they are definitely not as combined as it looks like they are. Hey, Carrie, how are you? Hi, Carrie. Maybe should have given people a minute to like have it. Okay, done let's try to get like all of these guys but... going with us. Okay, I think this is the most fugu I've brought with me over to the side. I don't know if that's actually gonna help. Thank fucking god, oh my god. <sighs> yes. Oh, that was awkward. I'm tired. I don't even care. Uh, Shavda, that second half. Oh my god, that was so long. Okay. So, let's review before I switch over to Pokemon. Okay, so first half. Probably took me about 10, 20 minutes. I'm going to say 20 minutes being generous. Thank you, Vincent. Uh, I'm going to say about 20 minutes being generous. Went pretty fast. Figured out everything pretty fast. I don't really remember anything tripping me up. So honestly, like, first half's perfectly fine. Second half, I don't really know if that obstacle at the very end of the level is necessary. Like, I feel like ending that level at the fake goal would probably be fine. Um, maybe even forcing, like, a spin jump off of the Fugus, like, as they're launching to the goal. I was like, hey Mike, how's it going? Sorry, you got here right at, uh, playtest feedback stuff. Um, thank you. Um, so, if you were to cut the level basically at the fake goal, and basically just make the fake goal a real goal, then I don't really know if anything else needs tweaking. If you want to keep the troll ending and force the level to go under, I would recommend nerfing, um, a couple of the transfers specifically. Um, and maybe making the slanty rope part a little bit more time consuming. Um, because there were a couple of times where, there's one time where I completely despawned all the fugu, which is kind of annoying. Most of the time I would despawn about half of them, which would make that part at the end where the thing was bouncing back and forth, like, actually kind of annoying to catch on and stall while you're waiting for that top fugu to, like, drop down low enough. Um, 
Alternatively, you could get rid of the fugu that's immediately after the disco show, where it's just kind of like floating down and kind of just in the way, I guess. Uh, because that one just sort of felt like it was just in the way, honestly. Um, overall, a very cool level. Uh, that second half took me about five times as long as the first half did. So I would maybe recommend trying to nerf it either by cutting the level at the fake goal and just making that the real goal, or nerfing it slightly. Uh, hi everyone, we are here and we're ready to play test. Um, I took yesterday off to do a little bit of editing and uh, clean up my OBS sources honestly, because my OBS was a goddamn mess. It's been like... I don't know, two and a half, three years that I've been streaming on this laptop now, and I have not cleaned up the sources once before tonight, <laughs> or before last night, and it showed. Uh, so let's go ahead and test the next little bit of Amethyst World. Uh, so... <laughs> that, that reminded me, I was like, I need to make sure my camera is definitely angled properly today. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> I mean, she's streaming on Twitch. I mean, it's it's Twitch appropriate, for sure. <laughs> uh, I'll um, go ahead and give her a shout out since we're talking about so her on my so stream. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Slee. I really appreciate it. And Slee, I hope you enjoy the game. Spoopy games. kit, right? Yeah. Okay. With two T's. Yes. Uh... If y'all would like to see the streamer that we are, <laughs> there's not very many tools for me to work with on this obstacle. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but yeah. Well, and some nice friends too. Yeah. There are definitely still a few people that I like keep in contact with from the Tumblr days, but that was definitely like 2000. 10 to 2012 Tumblr, and not whatever it is now. No! I thought I grabbed it and started running back, and I, like, did not actually grab it. <clears throat> nope, bonky in my head. Okay, yeah, Creech is the closest. Oh, it's just a big-ass jump. Okay. <laughs> Whenever we see eyes that look like that on anything, we're like, oh, it's the rosy emote. For some reason, that was, like, really hard for me to figure out, and I don't entirely know why. It's a football. You just have to, like, jump under a wall here or something. So you can't respawn this, and then basically you would have to go over here. And then I think jump over the bat, despawn the football chuck, and then respawn it over here, because I think that's what's intended. So if you want to basically just make it so you can't respawn over here, uh, basically just make a low, <coughs> a low thing for you to jump over, or jump under right here, um, and maybe even cut back the ground right here if you need to. Uh, but basically just make it so you can't run over to here and then run back to the right and respawn the other one and actually have it like target you, I guess. Um, because the way it is right now with how open it is, I could just do this and then respawn this left one over here. Which I guess is like not really the end of the world because it sort of just shifts what the difficulty is. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't even really know if it's necessarily worth the cheesing, but it was a little confusing, I guess, that both were available. And I'd feel like if there was just like a low hanging ceiling here, it would basically eliminate that as an, op or an option. Because basically now I just respawn it over here and do the same thing, but with, with it one higher, right? Oh, I totally could have made it with the cheese. Come on. No! Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, that ending was funny. I like that ending. Okay, so cool Oops. level. <laughs> I did everything wrong there. Um, I'm not okay. So, real talk. I'm not normally the biggest fan of like sprite stack levels, but that one was pretty fun. Um, I was done with like good humor for the sprite stacks, which I feel like is important. Uh, thank you for the G's, everyone. Um, in terms of playtesting feedback. Uh, the first half was pretty fast. I honestly don't even really remember it, so I'm going to pop back in to remind myself really quick. Oh, um, yeah, so this obstacle was fine. I guess I was a little confused at first, but I feel like I figured it out pretty quickly. Um, and that's one thing I liked about this level is it felt like I was cheesing it in ways, but it wasn't really cheesing the level. It was like what was intended most of the time. Um, the only thing that I guess didn't feel that way about it was uh, <laughs> the actual like weird respawn I got after the midway um, where I was respawning the uh, bat and chuck sequence like one bat and chuck early um, which like lowered everything which meant that instead of jumping off of the bat I had to jump off of the football that the chuck was kicking uh, which was fun, but not intended. <laughs> uh, but overall cool level. Um, I like the ending. Uh, and, uh, it's a good length in both segments. I feel like I got through it pretty quick. Uh, so, Yoshi level? Shoujo level? Mario Maker level. Fitting also. <laughs> Scoomba is Shoujo. Help her escape Mario Maker 2. I will say, Let's try the I way that looks possible first. Okay. Should you wake up? Just, like, you can so blame many it all on me. me. There we go. So many people. And I had never considered like traveling. <laughs> Shoujo woke up just in time for my age. Thank you for the age, Fran. Right Oh. I was like, I'm small, yes, and then I was like, no, anytime I try to do this, I freak the fuck out. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> it was a good idea, though. I appreciate the thought. <laughs> All of the other text boxes have been like H, because they, they don't have anything in them. And then Shoujo's is just goddamn adorable. Also, I agree with everything that was said in there. Yeah, like I said, I know nothing about it. That was precious. Okay, she also fixed the uh, thing I was testing there, where if you bring a Goomba through a pipe, it technically doesn't wake up again. Uh, but it seems like there was some ASM done to like kind of auto kick stuff when you get out of the pipe, so you can't bring stuff through. It's pretty handy. You're damn good. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> so you kind of got to do a little bit of a fast fall to actually get through there in time. Can I kick you in? No. Uh, poor Shoujo. So close to Romax, but yet so far. <laughs> Fitting. <clears throat> Fun level. I feel like these last two levels have been sig- well, okay. <laughs> I feel like these last two levels have been significantly easier than the second half of this one. <laughs> uh, I guess difficulty-wise for the rest of the stuff it's been okay, but... Had a minor trip emergency because magic came in the soul during 15 years, so overcapacity for 
when I sleep and I'm figuring out how to ship my plans. Oh no! How did they uh, manage to do that? I will say... Okay, sorry about that. Um, um, so, thoughts on this level? Um, really the only feedback I have is that the background was a little in your face, I guess. Which I think was the point, but if you were stuck in that level for a little bit longer, I could see that getting sort of grating, I guess. Um, so I'd maybe recommend you saturate in the background in this one. Um, just because I feel like the point will get across even if it's like less in your face yellow, I guess. Um, platforming wise, it was pretty fun. Yeah, and that's why I don't want to uh, recommend changing the background or anything, but um, I feel like it would still get the point across if it was like an 80% yellow instead of 100% yellow, I guess. It might not be 100% yellow, but that's what it felt like in emulator, I guess. Also, catch him. That. This kind of reminds me of a harder Barb's Arcade from Karosu World, which I like. Nice. Even read it right, too. I forgot whose level this was, if I'm being honest. Oh, Star Scream. Nice. <laughs> you need too. No. Okay, so I think I gotta just wait there. The first part better than expected, but I just. Oh, we. Those are still <laughs> of not which it. there are many. There are so many, and those are still not it. Like. <laughs> My dad told me that it just sounds like. I really like the fast oh, strats in this right. level. Well, I never noticed the thing nice. the eight though. Stop. Rory, you can't even inject weed. That's not how it works, right? Hi, Rory. Oh, okay. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> I almost died. Whoops. Rory, how are you? We love you. Um, I will never do one toke. Oh, wait, no. Get a grip, you sativa. Uh, one is the last one. Okay. Bugger off, you bong addict. I will use my taser on you. <laughs> I don't like this what at all. What do I look like? A failure? What oh. do you expect people to say to that? What if you do look like a failure? <laughs> and they're like, oh, Can I just yeah, wait for you to hop up there right. also? I don't know. Yes! I can't. <laughs> nah, bogs are wrong. Rest in peace, fire guy. No way, hemp is horrible. Like the fire types and all of my nuzlocks. I'd rather Nuzlocks. not be a cannibal. Let's just, okay. <laughs> They think cannabis is No. Cool. <laughs> you also think that, like, someone who was offering... Oh, uh, what an anticlimactic ending. Like, God damn it. Um, ...was being like, would you like some cannabis? Pizza? All right. Um, like, probably not. Probably so, not cool level. Um, I would have liked to maybe okay. have seen something a little bit more than like, just the platforms and fire in the first half. Uh, I guess that would really be so, my only like, uh, feedback on that one. Like also, I guess the fire's at the I end. Uh just kind of don't cool really 